Hi guys, welcome back to another video from Atari User. This time around we're reviewing yet another video converter stroke up scalar box. So this one comes in just under around £29 and this one is for S-Video and composite and converts that into a HDMI signal. So we've got, similar to the other box, the 5 volt power supply input, power light, we've got a switch there to switch between composite and S-Video, a button to switch between the two high resolution uh, screen modes, output for audio and the HDMI cable output. So you can pick this box up from numerous online retailers such as Amazon, which is where this one came from. I think it was just under £29. You can also get it from the likes of eBay. It's kind of like a no-name box, so you'll probably find certain versions of it are cheaper than others. Again, it's sort of a metal case. It feels reasonably high quality. Made in China again, obviously. So we're going to try this box out tonight on a Noric 1, believe it or not. And then we're going to try it out on two Atari 8-bit computers and see if we have any better joy with this over the the SCART to HDMI box that we looked at earlier. So just like with the Neotech box that we looked at in the earlier video, it's a case of plugging in your connections, turning on the box, you can see here there's clearly a, a power light that's on, and then turning on your device. So we're going to use it first of all with an Auric one computer this is quite a rare classic british micro that we covered in depth in an earlier issue of atari user magazine this particular computer has been composite modded the rf modulators inside the auric are notoriously bad they tend to fail so you tend to get a very bad picture you can buy a sort of monitor to scar cable connection or a common upgrade for the auric one was the composite mod which essentially modified the RF output to a composite signal. This particular auric when it arrived I thought it was pretty problematic I could never get a picture on one of the TVs on the big screen TV the picture was pretty poor even with the composite cable so I kind of thought that the the composite mod perhaps had been done correctly other computers was, you know just generally a bit flaky. So now then let's go for the big reveal so look at that that is actually a fantastic quality very crisp clear image using this converter box now interestingly this particular tv will not pick up the signal from the auric whatsoever but now going through the upscaler box we've got a very clear and crisp picture So we're not going to get fantastic improvement in audio that's because the auric one takes advantage of its internal speaker but what we have got is a really sharp and clear image which uh, i'm really pleased about actually because um as i said earlier this computer uh, uh, my tv struggled to get a picture from it uh, the smaller tv wouldn't recognize the signal at all big screen tvs would recognize the picture but it wasn't great quality so i'm really really impressed with uh, how this box has taken the signal from the uh, composite modded auric and turned it into something worthwhile and decent quality so it's a win on this first run so we're going to start off now with the first of the two ataris so this is the uh, atari 130xe so 
you've got to keep in mind that composite is at the bottom really of uh, signal quality when obviously it's a massive leap from your normal RF cable but then composite kind of sits at the bottom uh, before this video SCART component and then ultimately HDMI so by going from SCART we looked at in the first uh, review to composite we're going to expect in theory some kind of degradation in picture quality so as you can see the picture does look great it's relatively clear and colorful but we've got a lot of um, what are known as jail bars on the screen so let's just see So yeah, it's not great. It's clear enough, but um, compared to the SCART output that we saw earlier, yeah, it's not great. So I must say that was actually a pretty decent picture. We've got a noticeable uh, increase in volume. I had to turn it down. Um, a lot less interference that we saw on the earlier SCART to HMI uh, picture. There was a bit of interference at the top right of the screen. The picture is pretty sharp. There's no ghosting. So the 130XE has actually come out pretty well using this uh, upscaler box. Okay, so here we are with the A200XL connected via a component lead to the upscaler box. So we've got a pretty clear image in one respect, but there are a bit of gel bars on there. Um, bearing in mind, obviously, that SCART was more of a European and, and Japanese thing, it wasn't very common in the US, so American Atari users will probably be using composite cables uh, you know more often than not whereas in here in Europe and the UK for instance we've always tended to go for SCART where possible so it's not looking too bad last time around of course the 800 XL gave us a much better picture right out of the box than the uh, 130XE so we're going to see what that looks like on the Hobotronic die. So we added a bit of the uh, DAS Omen demo onto the back of that as a bit of a bonus. Uh, but yeah, so this was the A200XL, which we know was giving a better picture straight out of the box. Um, 
again using the upscaler we've got a very clear sharp picture uh, no ghosting the audio is fantastic and looking at this I've got to say it's looking like a winner obviously jail barring is something that you tend to see uh, a lot on uh, retro machines it's more common for example in the States where um, the SCART standard and the use of SCART cables hasn't been as common um, but yeah it's been a pretty good demonstration I think of what this box can do again it doesn't solve everything but for just under 29 pounds it's not bad you obviously get it cheaper if you shop around and perhaps check out the likes of eBay it comes with an S video cable composite cable and uh, power supply so you don't have to hunt around for a free USB port somewhere it, it's not bad um, and I would think it's certainly worth looking at if you've got perhaps another older machine or something a bit more obscure uh, like the Auric where your TV is struggling to pick up the signal I mean this might be a worthy contender to use for example with the Atari XEP80 then this could be the box for you it's not going to solve miracles it's not going to cure world hunger but for use with a retro Atari machine it's not bad give it a go so if you like the video then please click like if you want to subscribe click that subscribe button click on the bell as well so you get notified whenever we upload new material and uh, don't forget to check out the Atari user magazine www.atariuser.com take care bye